Hello there, it's Beck and Deb and this is the next in your How Do I Thrive series. So before we dive into the video, as always, we would like to tell you a little bit about Relationship School because we are so excited about it. So it's going live on the 6th of April and we would absolutely love you to be a part of it. So I'm not going to bore you with all the details here, but it is mm -hmm. going to be amazing. And if you want to go over to our website, daretobeyou.co.uk and have a look and find out a little bit more about it, that would be great. But right now, we will dive into our video for today. Yeah, so today's question, how do I thrive when I'm single and lonely? Yeah, what a great question. Mm. Um, so I have to hold my hand up and confess to having been in a relationship for quite some time. So I'm not massively familiar right now with playing the single game and I'm not going to pretend that I'm something that I'm not. So what I'm going to kind of talk about with this is loneliness mm. and what I see around loneliness because it doesn't feel to me that being on our own and loneliness are as connected as we have them. You know, mm -hmm. it, it seems to us that our mind makes up the story. If we are feeling lonely, our mind makes up the story that it is because we are on our own. And trust me, it can make up that story when we are sat right next to somebody, yeah. when we are lying in the arms of the person we love, when we have been in a relationship for a long time, when you know, it can make up that story no matter what. Mm -hmm. So we, it is absolutely possible for anyone to feel lonely at any time. So the thing that I would really like to kind of talk about and reit reiterate, if that is the right word, um, <laughs> is you know, about there not being a connection between those two things in the way that it seems there is. Because when we believe that, that, that the connection is there, then it seems, you know, if we are on our own for any reason, whether that is that we're not in a relationship, whether we are single and we are feeling lonely, or whether we're spending an evening on our own and we're feeling lonely, it seems as if the answer is to be with other people, you know, to get into a relationship. And it's not a great reason to get into a relationship and it's not a great reason to try and hang out with other people because the fund, you know, what is fundamentally behind what we're doing is flawed, is, is incorrect. So as we start to understand that loneliness is a state of mind, loneliness is to do with a trick that our own mind is playing on us. And I'm sure if you take a moment right now, you can think of a time when you felt lonely, when it is ridiculous that you feel lonely. You know, I've been at parties and weddings that are full of my family and people that I really care of and had, had a kind of a moment of thinking, oh, I don't belong and I don't fit in and I just feel really lonely and on my own. And then I've been completely and utterly on my own with nobody around for miles and just felt completely connected to everything in this universe. So if you just kind of take a minute to, to see, and see a time when you've had similar experiences to that. And what I would invite you to do is to get curious about that and see, you know, how is that possible? Because in that way, you're getting curious in the right direction. And I'm sure Beck is going to add some more to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. So like, uh, as Deb's um, in the same scenario as Deb, really, that I haven't, it's been a while since I've been single. So I'm not going to pretend to kind of know what that's like in terms of how I am now in a relationship. But what I do know and what I will share about is that what I know to be true about human beings and it's this, it doesn't matter what relationship status we have, what, you know, what labels we put on ourselves, our okayness, our peace of mind, our well-being does not rest on that. Whether we are single, in a relationship, in an unhealthy relationship, in, you know, any variation of any of the above, we can be perfectly okay and have peace of mind. The only thing that comes between us and that is whatever thinking we believe to be true. And when we tell ourselves the story that being single means something about us, yeah. that's where we get into trouble. That 
that's where we kind of lose ourselves. That's where we, you know, and I can see that as a society, we can have it quite well set up that being in a partnership is the way to be. That makes you normal. That makes things okay. That we're all looking for our Prince Charming or our Princess Charming, if you're that watching this. <laughs> it's that, and you know, we can see that in the kind of films that we watch, the TV things we watch, the stuff we read on the news. It can feel like we aren't normal. But that feeling is only ever coming from what we believe to be true, mm. coming from the labels we've put on ourselves, coming from the connections we've made, where we connect one thing with another. If I'm single, then it yeah, means yeah. this. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and so very much this conversation and this kind of this video and what we share is about going back before those labels. Mm. It's about looking beyond those labels and knowing who we are and how we work, and that we come full, whole and complete as a human being. Our package is complete. There is nothing we need from outside of us to complete our, to complete who and what we are. We're exactly whole and complete as we are. And then, you know, it's great fun to play the relationship game if we get that opportunity. Mm. It's great fun to live the single life, I guess. <laughs> it's been a while, but I think it probably is. And I think whichever <laughs> one you're doing, you can kind of look at the other person and think, wouldn't it be better to be single? Wouldn't classic, it be better to yeah, be in a relationship? The grass is greener, yeah, right? Yeah. But it is about seeing that those, those labels, the single and the lonely, that we match those up and we mm. say, you know, I'm single so I'm not normal or I'm lonely and it's because I'm single or whatever it is. We make connections and we don't even notice we've done it. Mm. Like we don't even see that we've done that. We kind of have, I know a while back um, there was something that I talked about with Deb to do with driving. I had a little bit of anxiety around driving and I went out driving one day and I, ha I hadn't been in Devon very long and I kind of knew there was some very thin country roads down here but um, I kind of hadn't had a lot of experience on them and I'd come back from being out one day and said something about thin country roads and I hadn't noticed that in that kind of label that I'd given them there was this therefore this thin country road equals bad scary anxious ridden you know it was those and I hadn't seen that I'd attached all of that to that label mm. and there's so many places where we do that you know single and lonely they're you know they're one of those places that we can do that that we can attach this kind of underwritten hidden message that that means something about us and very much what we're inviting you to do here is look beyond that look past those labels you know I, I know one of our friends talks about having post-it notes that they stick on <laughs> themselves and other people start to take those post-it notes off and see the truth of who you are before you got any other labels and start to notice that whatever your relationship status is that doesn't mean anything about you the absolute truth of you and when you're feeling lonely or, or any other word you know I know um, Lucy that, that works and lives with us often her word is bored you know which I think is a similar it's a similar yeah, kind of thing lonely. isn't it bored mm. and lonely you know whatever that word is for you just notice that that's not coming from your circumstances mm. we attach it to that because our intellect likes to play the attachment game it likes to say this then this they match but that's not what is actually happening and the more we look and see what's really happening, the less we kind of, we don't get drawn into the game in quite the same way. Mm. We don't kind of play into that, you know, I'm lonely and it means this or I should do that or I should dive into a relationship that, you know, whatever it might be that isn't quite the healthy response. We don't do that so much when we know what's actually happening. So it's always about, for me, about looking to see what's really happening when I get those kinds of feelings because I am in a relationship but I have my lonely moments I have those times you know <laughs> so if you are enjoying these videos and you would like to join us in relationship school please do go to our website to find out all about it because yeah. we would absolutely love to have you there we certainly would and there's also lots of other ways you can connect with us we're on Facebook we have a group for dare to be you and it's got a purple heart at the end um, we have a website dare to be you.co.uk and you can sign up to our mailing list if you want to keep in touch with us uh, we're on LinkedIn under Deborah Simmons and we also have a YouTube channel uh, dare to be you <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> so you can find us in lots of places and we'd love to connect okay thank thanks you thanks very much Bye.